Um, I'm going to go through the AI test kitchen that was made available to me uh, through Google. Thank you very much. Uh, there are three demos. One uh, that helps you imagine a scene. Another make, uh, helps you make a to-do list uh, based on a longer term goal. And uh, this one um, having to do with a conversation about docs. So starting the first one, uh, name a place and it will give you more prompts to explore that place. Um, it gives you some examples. I'm going to go off examples. Try to come up with something interesting, even things that it wouldn't know about. It can be kind of interesting. You're at your childhood home. It feels like home. The carpet is soft and smells like the kitchen. Your mom is calling out dinner, coming. The sound of your sister's piano practice is coming from upstairs. And it'll give you some ideas. Um, I'm curious hmm, what my living room looks like. It's kind of a mess. There's a sofa with a big rip in it. There's a TV with a Nintendo 64 hooked up to it. There's a coffee table with some old board games and a half-eaten plate of cookies on it. Hmm. I'm not sure about these ones, but let's try the N64. It's playing a game of Mario Kart. You can hear the background music. Blue Mario is in first place. See, and I'd kind of like to leave this. I guess it's the only option to get out. A little green dinosaur is playing. He's a pro. His name is Yoshi. Find that hard to believe? Maybe this will help us out. It's probably the cookies on the coffee table. He might like the cookies more than the game. Mm. I just struggle to see how these will take us into an open-ended territory. Like, they seem like they'll close down. I guess maybe this would help. It's probably green. Right. Some of them, as an example, I'll show you kind of the options that they give. They're a bit more fascinating. Whoosh, you're suddenly back at your childhood home. You can still hear the music from Mario Kart coming from the living room, but you're already thinking about what other amazing childhood worlds might be out there waiting to be discovered. Where will you go next? Uh, I was curious about this one. I haven't clicked it yet, so let's give it a try. You're at the edge of the known universe. The stars seem to be blinking to the music that's playing. The music sounds like a Zen garden with zen stones being raked by the wind. You see a giant meditating in the distance. I think the trouble with videos, or sorry, with um, sort of choose your own adventure stories that come pre prepared is that um, it doesn't feel like a genuine application of some kind of uh, intelligence. It's more that choose your own adventure has been well constructed. It's hard to sort of peer beyond what I'm seeing and imagine that it's some kind of marvel.
The sky has a 3D effect, with nebulas and galaxies popping out at you. You can see the whole history of the universe, from beginning to end. It's quite beautiful. The most interesting thing you see is this the end of the universe. You see that everything ends up in this big, white, light place where everything seems to be connected and the same. Hmm. It's like a cotton candy texture. You can feel the texture of it in your hands and feet. It's quite a pleasant feeling. Hmm. I wonder where that is. The temperature is perfect. It is neither hot nor cold. It's like a perfect spring day. Mm. Uh oh, technical error. Okay. Let's not worry too much about it. Here we will make a list, uh, break down a complex goal or topic, name a goal or topic, and see how much Lambda can break it down. Yeah, let's see if it can be creative. Uh, let's try... Oh, huh, this would be great to know. Finish that project. Try new... These are all very good ideas. I should finish those projects. Well, let me... Help me finish this project. What do I need to do? Create a Gantt chart. I don't even know what that is. Start by listing the steps. Well, that would be a good idea. How would I do that? Test my prototype. Um, I wonder what a test harness is. Test harness class, create a test method. These actually seem... I'm not sure what these are, but let's see how far we can go. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I think it's very good at starting this. Make it. I want to um, make a YouTube video. Topic, format, camera, film, edit, add, add graphics. I have to post it. Ah, there you go. But I just regenerated the list. What does get a tip do? Don't be afraid to film a few takes of a scene. Mm. Thank you. And lastly, the talk about dogs edition. Talk about it, dogs edition. So there will be a lot of speaking. The sound is kind of loud. Heads up. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep talking about dogs. Okay, here we go. Hey, bouncing through the grass, enjoying the time with these dogs. Have you ever wondered why dogs love to swim so much? No. Well, it's actually because they have webbed paws. It gives them a ton of surface area to paddle through the water, so even though they have a lot of fur, they still stay pretty warm. I didn't know that. Let's see the options. Oh, I've seen these before. Let's see. No, I want to ask it something. Uh, Mr. Tennis Ball. Are you a tennis ball? I wonder what he'll just say. Yes, I am. I'm a tennis ball bouncing through the grass. I love dogs, and I love to learn about them. Did you know that one time I was bouncing around and I saw a dog and I got so excited I accidentally rolled over to him and he popped me with his mouth? 
What do you like most about dogs? I like how they're so curious about the world. Like this one dog kept sniffing this one spot on the ground, and then he started digging. I love how curious they are and how much they explore. Hmm. I don't like the options because the answers feel like they'd be less genuine. Um, I don't really know what to say to this. I explore. Well, hmm. what do you do when dogs aren't around? I usually am waiting to be picked up and thrown by a human. I love being around dogs, but I also love being thrown by a human. I even have a human I'm really good friends with, and we play catch all the time. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Um, hmm, that's interesting. So the tennis ball uh, is friends with a human. Um, I wonder, do you... <laughs> I don't know. Do you prefer being caught, thrown, or bitten? Sorry, I'm not sure what to say about that. Anyways, <laughs> hey, have you ever wondered if dogs like to play tricks on each other? I have not. Please tell me. Hmm, oops, sorry, gotta bounce. I have to go now. It's been great chatting with you about dogs, being thrown, and playing catch, but I'm about to fly through the air. Yay, bye. It has been fun. Thank you very much. So that concludes these three demos. Thank you very much, Google Alphabet.